everyone and welcome to this video on the subject of blessings coming in November. So just close your eyes, meditate and think about any questions that you might have, any topics that you might be thinking about, wondering about, hoping for in November and uh, see which pile you feel drawn to. Okay, so if you picked the pile with the polished quartz crystal Blessings coming to you in November, I feel, are to do with clarity, gaining a sense of clarity and more balance than you've had in recent months. It could be that you get the answer to something that you've been wondering about, about for a long time, um, or you get an answer to something that allows you to then take action that moves you forward, that allows you to move forward in your life in some way. And when I looked at this earlier, it reminded me of something that came up in a session that I had with one of my students where this phrase came into my mind. It's a, a lyric from a song by India Ari, what was sent to demolish me, I allowed to polish me because my guides just said polished like a diamond, polished like a diamond. So it's also about having gone through tricky times and allowed those times. It's not often that you see a polished quartz, is it? And um, it just made me think, you know, this is about your process, your process of of raising everything up to a higher vibration. So where you have had difficulties or confusion in the meantime, while you think nothing's been happening, you've been confused and things have been muddy. and You haven't been getting anywhere. You've been achieving a lot spiritually under the radar. You've been becoming a better version of yourself. You've become, been becoming wiser, stronger, more inspired, more able to receive guidance, more able to hone and craft, um, hone and develop the skills and the gifts and the talents that you do have. And clarity is coming in November that will help you to move ahead with all of those things now. Right, so let's see what the cards say and see if you've got cards that agree with that. We have purify your body. So for some, this will mean that the diet that you've been um, indulging in recently might not have been for your highest good when it comes to being clear-headed. And in November, you will turn back towards um, better ways of eating and nourishing your body and looking after yourself generally. If you've been stuck indoors a lot, you might find yourself being drawn outdoors. You might find that if an exercise regime has gone by the wayside, you'll find yourself able to take it up again, feeling strong enough. And if it's a question of your thinking, you'll also find that as you turn back to healthier ways of looking after your body, your mind will become clearer. So that's lovely. All right, let, so we've got the Five of Raphael, which is the Five of Cups. Uh, we've got Divine Magic. We've got Consult an Expert. And we've got the Eight of Michael, which is the Eight of Wands. Five of Michael, uh, sorry, Five of Swords, Five of... Ah, and then we've got uh, Moving On, but Reversed, which is interesting because... I didn't put these reversed, so let's just talk about that quickly. Um, for some people, there's been a reluctance to move on, and these cards together tells me that there's been a reluctance to move on when it comes to matters of the heart. And for some of you, the clarity that you gain will be about what to do next, what your next steps will be, how to um, heal things, or how to move on, how to move past difficulties or situations that you've found difficult or that you've outgrown. It may be that you receive the uh, awareness that helps you to start formulating a plan for the future so you don't actually leave at that time or or it doesn't actually heal at that time but the clarity that's coming is going to help you to feel much more able to understand what's been happening in your situation. So the resistance that you felt about moving on I feel is also connected with some of you to the resistance that you've been experiencing in your career so it could be that you've been in an energy or a connection or a feeling or a mindset or a relationship that you feel has been stopping you and blocking you from moving ahead in your career and your life purpose and your goals the things that are close to your heart the things that you really feel you came here to do the things that you really really feel help you to express who you are you know at the deepest level of your being so moving on you move into a phase where you're able to come back in touch with your heart again, get back in touch with your heart. We've got aspiration and we've got openings. So 
this is great I'm so glad to see that there because th if you chose this group you've got a lot of dreams you've got a lot of aspirations you've got a lot of goals a lot of things that you want to to bring into to play that you want to create that you want to develop that you want to show the world share with the world you know you want to be a presence a voice in the world somehow and there's been a lot of blockage here, um, a lot of disappointment with the Five of Swords there, a lot of um, holding on, and you've got this Five of Swords right next to the card of moving on. Um, so this situation doesn't serve you anymore, or you feel it doesn't serve you anymore, and you've known for a while that you needed to, to release your attachment. And there's also a possibility that this isn't a relationship, you know, in the um, traditional sense, like an intimate relationship. We often think of those as being the ones because, you know, those are the ones, the people we're closest to, we spend the much time with, they have the greatest influence. And if, if it's not a good influence, it can be quite destructive or it can feel that way. Um, but this could be any relationship or connection or even a way of thinking about yourself and thinking about life that keeps you trapped because you've got the Eight of Swords as well, the Eight of Michael, which is often about not being trapped, but believing that you're trapped, believing that you're stuck in a situation. Whereas in fact, you were always free to walk away or to think of a plan that would allow you to walk away but there's been something trapping you something within your own mind and your own heart that's been trapping you keeping you stuck whether it's hope that it's going to work out or this feeling of fear that you won't be supported that you won't be able to to cope that you won't be able to deal with it that you'll be alone that you'll be lonely that you can't survive you know all of those things the clarity that you'll get in November will be the kind of clarity that allows you to say, OK, enough of this now, enough defeatist thinking, enough believing that I'm trapped, enough telling myself I can stay for one more day or one more week or one more month and that they just blend into years and decades and then and and so go the days of our lives, as they say. Enough of that. I'm clear headed enough now to know this is never going to change. Nothing's going to change. It's time to be truthful with myself and give yourself the time to sit down with a notepad and a pen and just brainstorm. How could this work? Rather than thinking of all the ways and all the reasons this couldn't work, think of a plan. Think of all the possibilities that come to you. Meditate, ask for inspiration, ask your guides to help you. For some, you will need to consult an expert. You will need to consult someone who can help you. It might be a healer. It might be someone, you know, I'm hearing advocacy. For some people, there'll be a need uh, for some kind of uh, advocacy or mediation. For some, it will be someone who will help you to deal with technicalities or um, practicalities and logistics. And for some, it will just be, you know, you'll go, you'll, you'll have uh, some kind of a consultation with, um, I don't know, a, a healer or a reader or someone who helps you to make a transformation within yourself, within your consciousness that allows you to move on. So don't, this is nothing scary. This is something that will help you. You know, this is someone who's going to be on your side. Um, you have a lot of potential for creating something magical and miraculous at the moment. But all of these really amazing positive cards have this fear uh, sort of um, threaded through it and it is all fear because all of the cards that are negative are to do with a mindset to do with something that you don't believe about yourself or that you don't believe is possible and as someone else an external view might help you to clarify that um, the five of Raphael the five of cups so let go of the regret let go of the past let go of thinking you can fix this stop crying over spilt milk the past is the past let it be when I said stop crying over spilt milk, my guides immediately drew my car my eyes back to this card, purify your body. For some of you, and I know this sounds weird and random, how could they possibly be related? And I know some will know exactly what I mean. For some of you, if you reduce your intake of um, 
certain foods, I'm not giving dietary advice, but you might find that there's a lactose intolerance or some way that having too much dairy is blocking you, blocking you psychically, stopping you from tuning in in the way that you were before, stopping you to have that mental clarity that you need, helping you to feel more stuck and stagnant and stodgy, uh, even to stuff your feelings down with comfort food rather than facing the truth and taking your power back. You know, we can disempower ourselves with the wrong kinds of foods, just as we do with all the other habits and addictions and 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 um, devices that we use to keep ourselves stuck and keep ourselves small. The blessing of November is that I see you actually seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and having the courage to move be beyond um, the current constraints. I look at this card openings and this is the one they're showing me now. It really seems to be standing out because you know, we can see all this darkness here around the edges. There's always that potential, isn't there, to go back inside or or to see this as, you know, somewhere that you'd, you'd enter and you might be locked away in there. But that's also possibly a doorway to somewhere else. You look at this beautiful landscape out here and there's a sense that this unicorn might have just escaped. There's a key here, you know, and um, there's a sense of hopefulness of this you know this idea that anything is possible you're not seeing the possibilities around you you're not seeing the magic that's around you there is a lot more around you in the in the way of help love resources possibilities and restructuring that could help you to create a whole new life beyond this chapter that looks a whole other set of hues and colors and brightness and light and delight my guides are saying light and delight a new door is opening for you allow yourself to walk through it in November the blessing of November is that for the first time in a very very long time those who chose this pile you may actually start to realize that you can walk through that door and that the aspirations that you have which actually you know some people you've spent an awfully long time planning things in your head on paper talking to people you know vision boards all of this stuff and it's like the only thing that stops those things coming in is you being feeling free enough to take the massive action as Tony Robbins would say that will bring you to that place and I feel the blessing of November is going to be that you just might you just might allow yourself to see those things Okay, have a great November. Thank you for listening and um, come back soon. Bye. Okay, if you picked the tiger's eye pile, let's have a look. So for this this pile, um, November's going to be, the blessings in November are going to be connected to abundance. They're going to be connected to um, getting grounded in your material reality. Some kind of good fortune as well is possible but I feel it is going to depend on you taking action, you keeping a very open mind, you staying positive. There's gold in them their hills I just heard. <laughs> Sorry that was my guides, they say the strangest things. So for some of you it's going to be a question of going out after going out after what you want. You know, like the the gold. What were they called? I don't know what they were called. Um, people who went um, divining for gold. The gold rush. I've just heard the gold rush. Thank you. Um, you know, people in the gold rush. They they had a lot of belief. They had a lot of. Um, ab absolute and utter conviction that if they just went out there with their equipment or whatever it was they did they'd find gold and that's what your attitude needs to be in November the the blessing of November for you is that you're going to be able to start to see opportunities to improve your material reality and that's going to cause a shift in lots of ways it's going to you know if the abundance doesn't come in November, the ideas, the techniques, the tools and the plans and possibilities to make that happen are going to start coming to you in November. So, and I've just heard broaden your mind, broaden your perspective, broaden your reality. Yes. OK, so let's see what the cards say. Activate your healing power. Excellent. So there is some uh, belief to be healed, something around abundance and lack. The nine of Michael. Um, sword so and dream big accept heaven's help eight of Raphael eight of cups page of Gabriel oh, achievements and found that right I'm just going to turn these upside down because these have all come out reversed for some reason um, 
deception and envy next to foundation and achievements so just be aware of keeping the right energies around you mother mary oh perfect and freedom love that love it love it love it okay dream big is the first card that i'm being drawn to and it's obvious why because in terms of uh, going after the gold, which of course can be spiritual gold as well, sometimes the two things go together, but in terms of going after what you need to develop a firm foundation in your life so that you can do the work you came here to, to do, you need to be able to have a greater vision, a bigger vision. Believe in yourself, I've just heard. Believe in yourself, this group. I hope that message comes resonating through the video. Let me know because when I said it, I really felt that energy coming through from my guides and this is meant to be a healing for you if you're listening to this reading at this time because you need. there is something that you need to heal within yourself that stops you believing you can have what you want. You've got next to it the Nine of Michael, which was the, the Nine of Swords traditionally. And this is about unnecessary necessary worry it's about staying up late at night thinking things through can I do it can't I do it is it possible is it possible for me you know all of those things and possibly some concerns about finances because this reading is about your your um, material reality um, and I feel that for some of you with these two being side by side the story is something like this because of the worries and concerns about keeping things together in a very small way you've let go of those very big dreams so it's like you're micromanaging your life and the details and you know just making ends meet just getting by okay if I've just as long as I've got enough to cover this and I've got enough to cover that and I've got enough for food and I've got enough you know your guides are sort of <laughs> you know, wanting to say, please don't do that anymore. Come back to your your dreams. Yes, you have to do what you have to do to make things work, to make your, your work. But a lot of you, your work, your lives can run like clockwork now. You don't need to put the amount of energy and worry into them that you are doing. You need to put that extra energy and concern into those bigger dreams that you had. Dust them off again. Get them out. Start looking at them. Because in that grander vision is the answer, is the key to breaking yourself out of this limited level that you've found yourself in. It is a much bigger vision and perspective that somebody in particular who's going to be watching this reading, you've got a guide here who's very, um, very adamant, very, very demonstrative and you will have been feeling a push to dream big again and a push to start making things happen again. Uh, so I feel, because I'm hearing again, I feel that there's someone who's lapsed in making their dreams happen and gone, gotten themselves into this, this sort of um, tunnel where everything has shrunk and they're just working round the clock doing something that isn't what they're here to do and they think they need to do it in the way that they're doing but actually in some ways it's a place to hide as well break out of there there's nothing to be afraid of come on it's time okay lecture over thank you guides uh, let's i'll take it from here so um, foundation and achievement. So yes, you've already achieved certain things. Um, and, you know, there's all, also a sense that all of this is tied up with this smaller reality, this sense of, okay, well, you know, I've got this. I'm okay. You know, I've got this. I'm, I'm doing okay. Don't lose sight of those dreams because this is what makes life feel very mundane and drab and boring. And before you know it, there's a fine line between that and feeling a bit down I heard depression. I think for some people, there's been a little bit of a sense of, well, what's the point? You know, what am I doing this for? What's it for? It's like just getting by from day to day. I want to ask you to talk to Mother Mary. If you feel that way inclined, if you feel a connection with the Ascended Masters, she is the one for you at this time. Because I feel if you chose this group, there's also a sense of feeling the need for friendship, feeling the need to to be accepted and to know that you're loved exactly as you are and to let go of fears about people who've envied you in the past, people who make you feel afraid of putting yourself out there or putting your work out there in case it's rejected or in case you lose friends or people envy you or you get trolled or any of that stuff. None of it's real. You know, just 
delete, <laughs> rinse, repeat, just delete. You don't have to read that stuff. You don't have to look at it and you do not have to take it home with you or, or you know, take it to sleep and wake up again with it. You can let that stuff go. It's really coming to the time if you've, if you're at this reading where you're going to have to look at yourself in the mirror and give yourself a bit of a talking to. Some of you are healers. Some of you are healers. I've just come back to this. And um, some of you are healers, some of you are star seeds. This looks like a real star seed kind of energy. Star seeds known to be very, very uh, sensitive, you know, Pleiadians, Blu rays, you know, Arcturians. This is the kind of energy I'm getting with this. Hiding away, hiding away, hiding away when the world needs your light, the world needs your brilliance, you know? Come out, the world needs your brilliance. It needs that unique thing that you do, that unique thing that you are. That's the vibration we need right here, right now, to pin down, to ground this new energy into the planet, this new consciousness even more. We're not there yet. We need you. Come on, come on out. I know you're doing a lot by being, just by being, but come on out where you can be seen, where you can be visible. Some of you will need to walk away from a toxic situation because there's something better waiting for you. I'm not telling anyone what to do. You have your own free will exercise your own free will choices but it looks as if there's something on the other side of this bridge that is much better for you this could be to do with a relationship for some um, for some it will be that there is a much more harmonious connection waiting one that will support you in your dreams and your goals and your um, you know all, all the things that you should be doing because you you need to have a bigger vision and let go of not only small thoughts about how you manage your reality but small thoughts about yourself and what's possible for you and accept heaven's help so the blessing in november right haven't talked much about the blessings so let's come back to that the blessings of november need to be that you start to dream big again that you return to your original vision as this great Great, you know, uh, change maker, creator, light being, um, you know, whatever you are, whether you're a musician, whether you're a, an artist, a creator of some other kind, whether you are a healer, whether you're an intuitive like this, you know, whatever it is, a writer, I've just heard some of you are writers, some of you are actually composers who don't sing or play an instrument um, publicly, but you write beautifully, beautiful music, you know, there's such a wide range of people here, and I'm coming back to this again, it, I keep coming back to this, it's like every time I talk about one of these gifts, they bring my attention back to this, there are some people out there who are not only afraid of being envied, they feel the energy of of envy because they're you know these divine starseed energies very sensitive empaths and they don't want to feel that energy they don't want to put themselves out there too much in case they feel too much energy coming back to them I totally understand but this is the blessing of November is that you are going to find a way to be free of that okay you need to free yourself of alliances that stop you, that are not for your highest good, that are not of the same energy and you need to free yourself of any lower consciousness you have about what is possible for you to achieve and I feel the blessing of November is going to be that you will activate your healing power and heal yourself, release these traps these mental traps and limitations from yourself and step up a level in terms of your abundance. That's what I feel the potential is there for in November. And again, this is something that could be a seed in November. You could sow the seed simply by adjusting your consciousness to for something huge that's coming in 2020. OK, because that's right there in the middle of this. And I feel that it's just potential when we get to November. So I want you to take all your energy, all your um, motivation, all your your good feeling and your creative potential and pour it all into this, into seeding a plan for 2020. But do it in November, a big plan, your big plan, your original plan that guides back, your original big plan that you had at the beginning of this year. Remember, OK, come back to that now. You've also got the page of Gabriel. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. So it could be that there are opportunities that will start to appear in November, but you need to see them when they do 
you need to see them okay be adaptable flow with things a little bit more um you know be open and looking uh, open to and looking for a win-win situation there's a lot around you that you're just not seeing at the moment okay I hope that helped you, um, Tiger's Eye Group. Let me know. Let me know how that resonated. I love to read your comments. I find them very inspiring. So, if you chose the Amethyst, the blessing for you in November is going to be um, a little bit more of a sense of connection. So, for some of you, you haven't been feeling that you've been able to connect so much. Um, Possibly you've been feeling a bit confused, a little bit lightheaded. Um, things to do with the head, things to do with um, inspiration, to do with psychic connection, even artistic pursuits. So for some of you, you might have been feeling blocked artistically or you're just not sure how you feel anymore about artistic pursuits that you may have um, considered in the past or taken part in. And I feel the blessing of November for you is partly going to be a reawakening of your artistic potential, creative potential and your, uh, your ability to connect and gain inspiration. So, let's see what the cards say. Attract success. Ooh, that's nice. Knight of Swords, Knight of Michael. Make a wish. Oh my goodness, this is an incredible one. Father healing. The Emperor. Okay, so write out of the gate. Some of you have an incredible creative talent that could be bringing you a lot of success. A lot of success. Wow, and I'm feeling that really strongly as I connect with that crystal again and I see what cards are appearing. Let's see what else we've got. Six of Ariel, six of, of uh, um, pentacles. I'm trying to remember what that is. Okay, um, yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. So it's to do with your material needs being fulfilled. Okay, and um, it's it's that card where there's always someone being charitable, charity, giving, receiving, the balance of giving, receiving, being in a position to give, having abundance, having more abundance. Okay, this is looking really interesting. You've got partnerships and alliances, divine sight and soul satisfaction. What a story this is. What an incredible story. Okay, so don't know where to start. Okay, my guides have said make a wish. All right, so make a wish. Basically what, what this is saying is that in November, you will have an opportunity to make one of your wishes come true. There's something that's been brewing. It's been in the background for a while. It's been there on the periphery. It's been a possibility and it comes closer in November. This is the sense that I'm getting. It comes closer and you get to have a sense of it to feel what it could actually be like how it might actually be to live that life how it might actually feel to be completely creatively expressed and to have your creative gifts received because let's face it as artists that's the greatest success isn't it <laughs> to be able to express yourself and to have people receive the gift it comes through you it's another form of healing and when people receive it as with all healers we feel liberated because if you don't give it it's kind of it can burn you up it does not feel good and so I'm not saying that's the only success that's coming to you in November but that Let's acknowledge that as being a great success as an artist if you can put your work out there and it's received and you feel that flow of love coming through you out to where it's meant to go. That's fulfilment, okay? I see that as being hugely possible in November. That's the blessing of November, that you have an opportunity. And I've just heard an opportunity to shine. Don't be afraid to shine. It's okay. When you're shining your light, you're showing people the God in you. OK, it's not about being vain or conceited. It's not about you having your priorities wrong or wanting things for the wrong reasons or having a big ego. <laughs> Sorry, Amethyst group, my camera went out. So, yeah, all the other things that you tell yourself so that you can just hide away in a cave and be trapped in fear. Yes, it's none of those things are true. The world is waiting for you to shine and to show that beauty and love and truth and to warm their hearts and to fill them with that, that divine presence, that divine essence, okay? All artists, I think, you know, well, <laughs> we know the ones we're talking about here, real artists who bring, bring a lot of love and light, I think, are light workers. 
because they they cause a shift with their work they cause a shift so stop questioning it now this is very interesting you've got the father healing card next to the emperor so there's an energy here whatever your gender is there's a masculine energy here that you need to heal within yourself there's something within you that has been a very controlling oppressive force in your life or it feels that way at least and these are the voices that I'm hearing in your head telling you you can't do it okay so for some of you there is some father work and it needs to be looked at because the, the voice that you're hearing that's telling you, that putting you down, telling you you can't, telling you all the reasons why you can't, or making you feel small, or making you feel you have something to prove. And when you, when you get into that place where you feel you have something to prove, it makes you rash. It makes you do things for the wrong reasons, in the wrong way, at the wrong time, with the wrong people. And you, you make these missteps rather than coming back to the pure essence of being the artist and the genius that you are and, and allowing that to sprout forth organically. You know, there's an element here that's within you that needs to be healed that can sometimes um, rear its head, rise up in you as kind of a destructive force. As we'd say in, in Buddhism, our fundamental darkness, you know, there's no point talking about other people, whether it has been um, expressed as a father energy in your life in this incarnation or not, because if that was the case, then that was only there because you you attracted it or agreed on it before you came to this life. You agreed with that being, you know, who so generously offered to be that bad guy for you. You agreed to, to work on healing it. So it's irrelevant. The point is there is an oppressive male energy, masculine, not male. Sorry, guys. Masculine energy, um, emperor, father, figure within you that needs to be healed. OK, and that's going to lead you into this place where you can have that true soul satisfaction, because you might find that your idea of success changes when you heal all of that. Anyway, you know, let that penetrate for a second, because I just really felt that coming through strongly. You might find that your idea of what success is will change slightly when you heal that and you no longer have that presence inside you telling you you're not good enough, fast enough, funny enough, uh, talented enough, musical enough, clever enough, uh, fashionable enough, pretty enough, whatever, handsome enough, you know? Because this is not a gender thing, this is an energy, these are energies, you can be male or female and you can have that energy in a mother or, you know, uh, some other female form. Okay, so that's your that's your healing that needs to be done in November and the blessing of November is that you can transform all of this and you can be artistically expressed which is the dream and from that place from that energy you begin to attract more of what you might see as traditional success okay and that could take a few months to unfold but that in November that's where you have a chance to make that shift and I feel for some of you because we've got partnerships and alliances here and they're bringing me to this and I'm feeling there's a cold energy around it I feel for some of you there's a, a fear of partnering up with people there's a fear of being overtaken or having your artistic vision um, swallowed up or swamped or diverted in some way you don't want to be controlled but I feel that for some of you it will be a partnership or an alliance with a group or something else where you team up with people that helps you to actually break out of some of these mindsets um, because for some of you some of the fears that you have about moving forward are connected to having trusted people in the past to work with them and they've actually instead of moving forward with them they've embodied this oppressive energy again but remember that that energy is within you and that's why it keeps coming back it keeps coming back and it keeps coming back and it keeps coming back it's like same cat different collar it keeps playing itself over and over again so that tells you that's karma and when I say karma I mean basically some pattern that you've got something that you can heal that's all that's all learning karma is learning something that's come with you that's carried over with you from a previous life or from this life or whatever past life I feel mostly um, okay and the other blessing of November divine sight see the divine in everyone 
When you are creatively fulfilled and expressed, you stop all the niggly, 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 niggly chatter about this and how that's happening and this person stopped you doing this and this, I could have done this and I could have done, I can never find the time or the space for this and this and all this stuff goes away because you just pour it out like a vessel. It pours through you. You pour it out and you feel satisfied. Deep in your soul, you feel satisfied, you feel expressed. So if you don't see how that's going to happen at this point, it means that you need to do something to make it happen. Do you need to start a blog? Do you need to commit to, to putting a piece of writing on that blog every week or however often you've decided to? Do you need to um, put some music out there, out there, out there? into the world rather than thinking about it, dreaming about it, composing in your head, making notes on scraps of paper. What do you need to do now to make this happen in November? Because the blessing in November is that you can actually sow the seeds for great success in the future. Great success. I'm kind of underplaying it a little bit because I want you to do the work that will get you there rather than come to another reading that tells you, oh, I'm going to be successful. Great, let's wait and see when that's going to happen and how. It's not going to happen. It's going to happen because, because you make it happen, because you allow it to happen. But the potential is there for it to happen in a way that you won't even believe. You might have to do even more work later on so that you can allow yourself to let it in. This is a really great reading. This is the most exciting one. <laughs> so if you got that one, I hope you enjoyed it as well. They're all great. So thank you very much for listening and um, give me your comments. Let me know whether that resonated for you. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.